Hello, Jenny Hall here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I would like to share a really easy to duplicate card with you. I'm going to be stamping with Flippin' Fabulous Stamps and Dies, as well as the Pineapple Lattice Cover Plate Die Set. These are individually purchased from the Honey Bee Store, but when placed together and a card base, then there is three different layers that you have to work with to create your card front. I'm going to start out by using the base layer of the pineapple cover plate die, and I'm adding some Distress Oxide inks. This colored panel is going to sit in between the top white piece of the die cut and the white card base. Here it is together, and you know, this looks like a mermaid tail to me. So I decided instead of a pineapple theme card to maybe go with a mermaid and ocean look. And I really like that little mermaid tail look. I'm going to stamp onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock and use Ink on 3 Fade Out Ink. If you haven't used it before, then the fade out ink is this magical ink from Ink on 3, and it has the ability to take on the color properties of the coloring medium that's placed on top of it. So for example, you can see that the, la the lines are stamped and they're kind of a gray foggy color, but when you add the color, and this here is with the zig, clean color real brush pens then it kind of soaks up whatever color is laid on it and turns a little bit of a darker shade of that color i try to use that to my advantage when coloring to achieve the no line color look and so i add the darker color right onto that stamped line and then with a lighter color of the zig pen then I blend out the color from that original line. So for example, put down the dark color on the stamped line where the shadows would most likely occur, and then use a lighter color pen to blend it out. And this works really good with blending colors. Also, as you can see where I added in that little bit of pink and faded it in on the rest of this little scallop shell. I'm going to cut all of those little images out with the coordinating dies and then emboss the sentiment onto a piece of black cardstock with another ink pad from Ink on 3. This is the Juicy ink pad which is used for embossing. This is a really great embossing ink if you haven't tried it before. I'll heat set that powder with my heat tool and then just use a dry cloth to go back over and remove any of that anti-static powder. It's really easy to get it to come back up. I just kind of go really heavy on the embossing powder, um, the embossing anti-static whenever I'm using black cardstock. Now I'm going to use that brand new precision tip glue pen from Honey Bee Stamps to place little dots of glue in between all of these little join areas. And this is on the top piece of the cover plate, the pineapple lattice cover plate. And then I'll run a thin line of glue all around the edge. Now this glue is not the same as a lot of the glues that are on the market. Melissa at Honey Bee has let us know that she worked very hard to get a really good formula and that this is going to be a very unique glue. And I have worked with it several times now and can tell you it is a great glue. And the container that it comes in is much larger than some of the glues that have been out on the market. So I can highly recommend this glue. Now I'm going to apply this entire unit down to the card front and this is a top folding A2 card note card and once it's folded it is four and a quarter by five and a half. 
I just want to get one little piece of the glue in between all of those different little areas because I don't want this unit to come off of the card base. I really want it to stay put. And this glue is just really working out great. And it doesn't dry shiny, it dries matte, which is really super. Now, once all of this is in place, then I'm ready to start adhering some other items to the card front. I have put, placed a little bit of double-sided foam adhesive on the back of my sentiment and I like to be able to move some things around here and there before I put my sentiment in place. So I'm going to kind of move them left and right and try to make sure that a little bit of each one of the shells is going to be visible and I'm going to put that sentiment right smack on top of them. I thought about maybe placing one of the shells partially on top of the sentiment, but it turned out to where the look just kind of reminded me that, you know, it was nice and layered and all the layers in the background. So I just went with this. Now I've got some new gem stickers and this is the Beach Vibes. And the colors really, really go well with that Distress Oxide ink combination. I like how these little stickers just you peel them up and stick them right on and there you go. You don't even need glue for it. Thank you for joining us for another tutorial from Honeybeam. We hope to see you again soon.